All right, guys, good morning. Good morning, good day, good evening. It's another new day. It's a beautiful day. I'm down here in Kentucky right now. It cannot get any more beautiful than this right now. Just perfect. But I want to give a special announcement before we start the vlog today. I'm going to be in Seattle August 22nd, 2015. It's a Saturday for Vlogger Fair, along with a whole bunch of other vloggers from all kinds of different walks of life. So this is a YouTube event specific to vloggers. It's sort of like a convention, but a little bit more personal, whereas you get to meet all the vloggers uh, and sort of hang out with us for the day. Uh, if you guys have been following me for over a year, you remember Vlogger Fair from last year. Uh, we It's at the Seattle, uh, Seattle Convention Center. No. Anyways, it's right by the Space Needle in Seattle there. And uh, tickets go on sale. I believe they're on sale already. I know Seattle's a long ways away for a lot of you, and a lot of you be like, well, it's expensive to travel. You guys won't be able to come. But if you want to, or if you're in the area, I'm going to be there on Saturday. I'm just saying, you can go to Vlogger Fair uh, online and get your tickets there if you want a discount on the tickets. I, I think they don't think they're that expensive anyway. The event is organized by Chris Perillo. Right, and so the tickets are to cover the cost of the venue, all the stuff that's going on with this stuff, right? So, if you guys want a discount on your tickets, you can go and use the promo code Trucker Josh, all right, and that'll get you a little discount on the tickets. And if you guys do want to come see me, or hey, if you guys don't even want to come see me, you want to come see other people who are there. I don't know the list of vloggers that are going to be there just yet. Uh, I know I've talked to uh, a couple that were there last year that are gonna be there again. Uh, I'm not too sure Shay Carl was there last year. Tyler Oakley was there last year. I'm not gonna promise that they're gonna, who's gonna be there this year, but you can go to the website and find out for yourself, vloggerfair.com. And yeah, promo code Trucker Josh, and that'll get you in the doors a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you guys can't make it out, that's perfectly understandable. I don't expect you guys to fly across the country just to meet me. I mean, I'm just a lowly trucker. But there's going to be a lot of other big faces there too that you might want to meet. So I'm actually excited to go there to meet some of my favorite vloggers. That's, I had a blast there last year. So that's the announcement, guys. We're going to Vlogger Fair August 22nd of this year, of 2015. I hope to see you there if you can make it. Kentucky. Are there ever days in Kentucky or in the South that aren't nice? Are there ever bad days in the South? I don't think so. I really don't. I've yet to see one. Other than, you know, the tornadoes and, you know, hurricanes and all the rain. But forget all that stuff. Forget all that stuff. It's beautiful. Isn't it always beautiful in the South? Look at that. That is the color green. Over there's some more green. Over there's some more green. There's some more green back there. There's some more green over there. Green's not really my favorite color, but it's definitely one of my favorite colors. Does that make sense? In springtime and summertime, green is my favorite color. Or when it comes to weather. I don't know what I'm saying. I just woke up. I'm sort of half here, half not, as you can tell. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes I don't. We're gonna go deliver this freight now, because we're going into, uh, we're in Corbin, Kentucky, and we're gonna be going into London, Kentucky, just down the road, about 20 minutes or so. We've got about half an hour to get there, so I'm gonna roll out right now and get there 10 minutes early. Look at those Canadian geese over there. They're smart, you know? The rest of them went back to Canada. These guys are like, yeah, I don't think so. I like it down here. I like it here. I think I'm gonna stay. Whole bunch of them over there, huh? How about that diesel? They have the same idea that we do. Let's go south and just stay south. Hmm? Those birds are thinking. They just got into my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm being unloaded right now. And we're off on our way once again. Always moving. I don't get why everyone else is moving so slow, but whatever. So we are going uh, southbound towards Atlanta, Georgia. We have a trailer waiting there for us. That 
trailer is taking us up to uh, Ontario and Quebec, Canada. So it'll be a good full week of driving. It's good. I needed a good a good run like this. demolition crews or whatever you call this those crews that blow this rock out of the way to build the highway here somebody explain to me how they do that how much dynamite or how do, what does it take to clear a mountain I am always at the flying J I know I know we're at another one so regular fuel here is 224 a gallon which is pretty good to me like that's actually really good Trying to debate on whether or not I should be driving or flying out to the YouTube events this summer. Like I told you at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be at Vlogger Fair August uh, this year. I'm also going to be at VidCon in July in Anaheim, California. I'm planning on it at least. I'm registered and whatnot. So, I mean, if I don't go, it's my loss, right? The only thing I'm really debating is whether or not to drive out to California or to fly out. There's some benefits to each. It's probably, it probably would be cheaper to fly out, yeah. But if I drive, I could take my motorbike with me. And if I have my motorbike with me, we're in LA. Like Anaheim is LA, I know it's different, but it's pretty much the same thing to me, right? So I could go for a ride. I've already looked into renting bikes out there, expensive. I've looked into uh, renting cars out there, useless expense. It'd be cheaper just to use cabs around the city, I'm pretty sure, or Uber, Uber Duber. You ever heard of Uber? Uh, taxi cab system. Please stop squeaking for two seconds. It's just in a squeaky mood today. But yeah, so that's the news. Uh, that's the YouTube events that I like to uh, attend. I like to be a playlist live as well, but I missed it this February because for some reason I thought it was in March or April and it was in February. February? I just can't get him to stop squeaking. Anyways, guys, let's hit the road. We are. Oh, I was going to tell you where we are. So yeah, if you guys are in the Anaheim area, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Let me know uh, on Facebook, in the comments section of one of my posts on Facebook or on Twitter. Twitter is the best place to get a hold of me and to leave messages for me because I see all the tweets, right? Uh, comments, for some reason, some comments get lost or they just get missed. Sometimes, just a few, and sometimes I miss them and sometimes they're important. But if you send them to me on Twitter, there's a really good chance that I get it. I know a lot of you aren't Twitter bugs. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I gotta think of other ways of making uh, commun lines of communication between you and I a little bit better. But Twitter is the best bet. We are in Knoxville, Tennessee. I didn't know that. Knoxville, Tennessee. All right. School of Hard Knocks, Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't know. All I know is we gotta go down to Atlanta, Georgia and pick up that trailer. It's still waiting. I can hear it calling me. Can get me to the ground.
This ain't green. I don't know what green is. Look, this looks like I'm driving through a jungle. Looks like it's summertime here already. It's amazing. We're in Tennessee still. Oh wait. Yeah, Tennessee. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Wait, no, it might be Georgia. Yes, we're in Georgia. Yeah, went to Chattanooga a while ago already, so we're in Georgia. Uh, we're just under an hour from Atlanta. Yeah, trailer's still waiting for me there. Still calling my name. So we're just, all we gotta do is drop this trailer off there, hook onto that one. Make sure I got all the right paperwork and everything. And then turn around and book it straight north. I don't know where we'll be crossing. I'm guessing we'll be crossing at Detroit into Windsor, Ontario. The only other option would be uh, into Sarnia from Port Huron. Either way, we're crossing from Michigan State, USA into Ontario Province, Canada. And it's not going to be so green up there, I can promise you that. But hey, maybe Mother Nature will make me a liar and I wouldn't complain. Who knows? Just coming through Atlanta here right now. Going to be going around Atlanta on the west side, like usual. It is illegal to go through Atlanta unless if you're delivering in Atlanta for a tractor trailer like myself. Drive 31 kilometers on I-285 bypass west. Yes, ma'am. So we'll be going around the west side. Atlanta is like a ginormous city. Just huge. And the weather seems to always be warm here. Except for the odd time when they get an inch of snow and the state shuts down. Lots of people here, lots of stuff to do here. I don't know much about the city myself, but I do know that, you know, in an alternate universe or something, I would definitely live here. I would live here in this universe too, it's just, I don't know anybody here. We got somebody parked on the shoulder up ahead. Now how dare you break down and make me turn over in the next lane? Who said you could break down there? Do you have a permit to break down there, driver? I don't know. Oh, that always sucks. I hate breaking down. And here we are, we're almost at our trailer. Just gotta enjoy a little bit of Atlanta here first. This is the mess that happens when I go into Walmart. And it is so hot. Oh, I put you up there, I know, I know. I put you up there so he's out of the way so I can clean all this up, right? Otherwise he just eats everything. Right? You just eat everything. 
Don't look all innocent. I know what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna try to put this all away right now, guys, and uh, try to dry myself off. So, oh, is it hot down here in Georgia again? Whew! It's not even summertime yet. It's always like once you hit Atlanta, you just hit a heat wave. I don't know what it is about Atlanta, but as soon as you get south of Atlanta, whew, you get nailed. So we're gonna try to get back north of Atlanta to sleep tonight because this is too hot to fall asleep in. I know, I complain, it's too cold, it's too cold. I come down south and I complain, it's too hot, it's too hot. I'm very hard to please. What's up, bud? Get up there, bud. Get up there. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, man. Remember when you couldn't do that, like, two weeks ago? What's going on, man? Growing up on me here. Kids, they grow up so fast. My other one's back there. He's more of a teenager. Don't, don't, don't feel me right now, man. Don't you feel me. What are you doing? But hey, hey, none of that stuff. Oh, you're just chewing on your leg. Okay, he's not doing anything weird. I see you pointing the camera at me, man. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Such a teenager. All you do is sleep. Don't you want to spend any time with me? I guess I'm just not cool anymore. So we're here, uh... Where are we? We're here, right here. We're in Tennessee at a rest area. We had some trouble finding some parking tonight. Oh, I wanted to stop a little earlier. I haven't driven my full, full day, but I, I was ready to stop. It was like one in the morning, right? And so you guys who are out here on the highways, you know exactly why I had a problem finding a place to park. I was in uh, Georgia, came up into Tennessee, trying to park at one in the morning. <coughs> No, not a good idea. Not a good idea. There was no parking. I stopped by like four or five different truck stops over the course of two hours. No parking. Oh, oh there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, no parking. I'm lucky I had so much time, but I didn't want to drive till like six in the morning, so. I pulled over, right? It's finally one of this rest area here, right? And I was just lucky someone just pulled out. And I took a spot. It was really tight to get in here, but because the guy beside me didn't pull forward far enough, so his back end was hanging way too far back, so I had to do some fancy professional maneuvering to get in here. Good thing I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I promise, see? One second here. Professional driver. That is proof. This is what I do. This camera's doing weird things to me. I'm too tired to deal with this stuff. It's that one! Oh, there's another one! Oh, go catch it! Oh, it's gone. Obviously, I am incapable of vlogging right now, so we're going to put the camera down and call it a night. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Go to the YouTube page if you're not viewing it on YouTube, Trucker Josh Vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe there and hit the like button if you did like the video. Don't forget to share it on your social networks and leave a comment for me down below. If you can do all of that, I give you a thumbs up in return. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time.